What's up going on YouTube guys? This is Milan Thomas from MD Tech World. So uh, today I'm going to talk about the new operating system which is recently released which is the Mac OS Sierra. So starting with the compatibility you can install Sierra on your MacBook Air Pro Mac Mini from 2010 to later and for MacBook and iMac is from 2009 to later. Starting with the first and foremost feature is the Siri. Hey Siri. Hi there, Milan. You? I am well. Box. Here's one I've been practicing boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. I could do this all day. Cats and boots and 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 cats. Not only this. Oh, sorry. Not only this, we can use her for some kind of features like turn on Bluetooth. Bluetooth is already on. Turn off Bluetooth. Okay, I've turned off Bluetooth. Great. Bye bye, Siri. Until next time. There she goes. That is an amazing feature. All right, let's come to the second point, which is the RAID support. In the previous release, which is the El Capitan app, removed the support for RAID RAID support that uh, that enraged the many support or uh, performing oriented Mac users. With Sierra, the company once again bring back the RAID support to the OS. Right, I'll show you a detail about that. RAID utility, you can see here. Unfortunately, my Mac doesn't support it. Because this is a MacBook Air and only a RAID. So, you can try it on a Mac iMac or somewhere else. To the part part, I find something interesting which is the go to your about this Mac and in the storage you can have all the things and on this right top corner you can find an option called manage that and here we go you can find different things but using this you can man manage your documents your your files all your files and make more space uh, on your Mac itself because it's really useful you can delete, erase everything. Uh, you can, but it's amazing. You can be, if you find something you don't want in your Mac and to free up the space, just go to here and you don't know where the heck is this file. You can see a delete button and next to the search button, hit that and there you go, kingdom. I don't need this file, so I can delete it right from there. It's 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 a great feature, and they there are other uh, files like iOS file, iTunes, Mail, Photos, everything. So that's a great new feature. And talking about the iCloud Drive, you're able to sync your documents and your photos or desktop folders between the Mac OS system as well as the iOS device. Uh, but actually currently I don't having the uh, iPhone or any iOS device with running iOS 10. So I can't do that. Uh, but it means you can have all your folders, all your files in the desktop, like the file here, here. You can have it you know, on your iPhone without triple. And the next feature, which is the Apple Pay. This is the Apple Pay. You can pay or uh, while you're purchasing uh, on an online shopping from your Mac, you can uh, pay with the Apple Pay right from your Mac with the help of iOS device. You can, by using the Touch ID, you can uh, authenticate your purchase. That's a new feature, but it, it's it will come 
on the fall so you have to wait for that and the next thing is I found you can log into your Mac with that type being the password even if it is a MacBook Air Pro iMac you can do the same thing on all of this just you need a Apple watch and there you go you can lock your Mac from the sleep to the wait without typing the password that's a good damn feature and all about the tabs they bring tabs uh, to the finder app uh, on the previous I mean the Yosemite yeah it's from the Yosemite itself but this time they bring tabs for third-party application or any other application you can go for maps here you go the maps Sacramento right here if you want to search about such any other country or city you can you don't have to search the same place you just control a command tab T there you go a new tab you can search here new Zealand yeah New Zealand there you go yes you can have 10 or 3 how many times you can have many tabs in a single app that is a great new feature tabs in apps and there's a new feature in the photo app that I really found it it's a memory uh, currently I don't have any other photos it's just a few photos like this so I don't have any I have, I'm running a lot of photos so I don't have any memories uh, this is an awesome feature uh, it, it, it's have the ability to rediscover favorite and forgotten moments from the deep of your library right now I don't I don't import any photos from my iPhone so I don't have any memories so that's all that's all about the new features which I found it useful for with the new OS Sierra so hope you guys like this video if you have any comment any doubt uh, regarding to this video or the Mac feel free to ask me uh, for the comment in the comment section right below down here and Hope you guys like this video. See you guys in the next video. Till then, this is Milan Thomas from MD Tech World. Peace out.